So for the root of a complex number, we have to consider two forms. First, the exponential and the polar form. For the exponential form, we have to use this formula that the nth root of z is equal to the nth root of r multiplied by e to the i theta multiplied by the 1 over n. And for the polar form, we have to use the formula that is the nth root of z is equal to nth root of r times the angle of theta over n. As you notice, Kapag ka hindi root na pinag-uusapan, now our formula for exponential form is equals to z equals r times e to the i theta. Ngayon, exponential, lalagyan nyo lang na ang root. It could be square root, cube root, fourth root, or any root. Now, for the polar, the same thing. So, if it is not in the root form, we have the z is equals to r times the angle of theta. So first, we have to get the R. No, sir. Sorry to interrupt. Naglalag po kasi. Hindi masyado. Okay lang. So, our formula, we have the nth root of uh, z is equals to the nth root of r times the angle of theta over 2. Then, substitute values. So, we have now the cube root of 3.6056 times the angle of negative 33.69 divided by m. 2, which is 3. So we have now negative 11.23. Then proceed to
So as you notice, we have now here 1.5334. You have to proceed to the trigonometric form, which is C is equal to R times cosine theta plus I sine theta. Substitute values, we have 1.5334 cosine of As you notice now guys, hindi natin ginamit ito, hindi rin natin ito ginamit, kundi ito yung resulta when we compute in terms of the root of the equation. So we have now cosine of negative 11.23 plus I sine of the negative 11.23. Then calculate, so finally you have now your C is equals to 1.5040 minus 0.298i. And that is your answer. So for the logarithm of uh, complex numbers, we have the logarithm of z base b is equal to the logarithm of b. As you notice, again, our complex number is represented as a plus bi. Therefore, we have the logarithm of b. When we convert this to exponential, we have now r e to the i theta. Or we have now the logarithm of b 
the logarithm of our base b plus the logarithm of e to the i theta b base b is equals to now as logarithm of r base b plus you from the principle of natural uh, of logarithm we have to bring the exponent as our coefficient becomes now i theta logarithm of e to the base b that is now our formula for the logarithm of a complex number Again, you have to remember always that e to the pi theta, e to the pi i is equals to 1, and e to the c is equals to e to the c, natural logarithm of a, and the natural logarithm of e is equals to 1, and also the natural logarithm of c is equals to the natural logarithm of r plus i theta. As you notice, from the natural logarithm of, an, uh, of a complex number, with respect to the logarithm principle parehas lang except pagdating sa dulo because it is considered as logarithm of e to the base b is equals to 1. So, here the natural logarithm of i is equals to 0 and the natural logarithm of i is equals to pi over 2i. For our problem, we have compute the logarithm of 3 minus 2i. First, you have to get your i, the, the r, and the theta. Once you, you have the value of r and theta, just apply the formula.
So, compute the logarithm of 3 minus 2i. First, you have to get the r, which is equals to the square root of 3 square plus negative 2 square equals 3.6056. And for the theta is the r tan of negative 2 over 3, which is equals to negative 33.69. Now, our problem is the logarithm of 3 minus 2i is equals now 2 in terms of polar form. So we have the logarithm of 3.6056 times the angle of negative 33.69. Then convert this angle to radian. So from degrees, just multiply pi over 180. So we have now the logarithm of 3.6056 divided by negative 0.58 in region now. Then apply the formula. We have now the logarithm of 3.6056 plus i times the negative of 0 0.5880 logarithm of e is equals to now 0 0.5570 minus 0 0.2554i. And that is your final answer.